technology. There you go. Technology. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Good morning. Should I turn that off? Yeah, you can turn that off. Thank you so much. Uh, just wanted to make Good sure morning. something was working. But uh, it seems to be working. You know, we're going to do interesting things or make it a little better. We've got a little intro that we did. Actually, we have a couple of intros. That's a short one. Uh, welcome back to Real Talk with Devin Will. See, and I was able to put the name of the program right there on the screen for you. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome. It is my honor. I am glad to be able to help. Always working to help me. Just trying to. Just, you know. Real. Welcome back to Real Talk with Deb and Will. It's right there. <laughs> I got it right this time. You did. You did fantastically. Glad I was part of that. Uh, <laughs> glad I was able to help. I trust that you guys are great. Coffee. Uh, and you had a fabulous Mother's, Mother's Day weekend. And by the way, I want to thank you and my son. I had a fabulous Mother's Day. They showered me with gifts. Nobody deserves it more. And a, a few surprise gifts yesterday from my son. Because <laughs> he knows I love candles so much. He spent a lot of money on some candles. We got about 6,000 pounds of candles in there. <laughs> So if the power goes out, we can put the candle in the yard, and then planes will be able to navigate by these candles. <laughs> the it'll, neighbors will it'll have It'll be fine. It'll light. be heat, light and heat. It'll be great. <laughs> so again. But happy Mother's Day, happy belated, Mother's Day. for any all you ladies out there, mother, mothers out there. Um, men haven't been able to give birth yet, so. Um, I don't care what that little emoji says. Now we do go through this. We, we do go through the experience <laughs> because there's a thing going on at the household. But the whole giving birth thing and getting impregnated. And I and, don't think they want to. I, uh, I really don't think you want that. After you see it once, nah. <laughs> nah, and, and people are right. It'd be on ESPN, but nah. Y'all got this. Y'all got y'all got all the equipment. Proud to be a mom. Proud of my son. Proud of the the being a mother to a lot of young people out there that I help to you know inspire and do things for because you know we we talk about mo uh, Mother's Day and we honor you know women that have actually given birth but there are so many women that haven't given birth but they are definitely mothers to a lot of people. Um, a lot of people that you, they look up to them as mother figures and if they hadn't have been in their lives you know things wouldn't have happened for them so they are mothers but it would just happen to be the day to honor mothers that gave birth yeah you can you can be motherly towards somebody uh, that's for sure you can and someone can um, enjoy the benefit of being mothered uh, without necessarily having that be your birth mother or having that person having actually given, given birth. birth to them. So that is that is true too and, and and we honor those and we honor those people as well. All right, our uh, our subject today is a a touchy subject a lot. And 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 I didn't mention this to you last night when we when we were looking over things, but I I feel like this 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 is something that we in our marriage struggle with I think in some things I honestly do <laughs> okay well here we go um, it is the a word and the a word is there you go okay a little series that we can cover because this is just point one and it ha and it has a lot of stuff in it and we're going to cover this for the next few weeks, I think. Yeah, as you can see, um, what is accountability in marriage? First, the word accountability is used in many different ways. So we need to stop and make sure that we understand accountability in marriage. Uh, and I talk about this all the time. I, I, I talk about, you know, we have to make sure that we're talking about the same thing. We're using all these words, but what are we actually talking about? Here's a definition of what I like to use uh, accountability is giving an account according to a clear standard and the context of a particular relationship. Okay, so we're going to break that down um, in a number in a number of parts here. Let me see if I can pull up the next screen. See, 
improvement. Look at me. Look at me. Um, it says giving an giving uh, giving an account. Uh, the the most basic part of accountability is giving an account. That <clears throat> it means um, telling or at least <clears throat> being willing to tell what you did, didn't do, or didn't do in marriage. Uh, what kind of things do you need to give an account for? Your time, your money, your relationships, your goals and technology um, <clears throat> and um, let's go back to doink. okay here we go all right well <laughs> okay <laughs> improving except that except that title that type was so small from way back here I was like I'll fix that later and we can <clears throat> go over the first point of um, being accountable for your time and I think that a lot of people uh, don't want to commit to a marriage or commit to a relationship because uh, they don't want to be accountable for where they are, what they're doing, and you know, and so forth like that. And that is a big deal when it comes to trust. Certainly, um, and when you are, uh, uh, when you're single or or not attached. Um, in a relationship, your time is your own, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we all you do what I, mean, I want to do. I'm grown. Well, yep, yeah, pretty much. I, I, I was, I was over here, and then I went over there, and then I did this, or maybe I and went I over here. And I was with this person and, and I, that person. And maybe I didn't do anything, but maybe I did a lot. And maybe we robbed a bank. Maybe we knocked off a liquor store. I don't know. <laughs> and then, and then went this, and went to the strip club. Um, maybe I don't know. And maybe uh, we stayed out until three in the morning. And, and maybe. And I don't want to have to answer nobody. And, and 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 the idea is, eh? So, yeah. So when you are, so when you're single, that may or or that may be okay. Now it may not actually be okay to live your life that way, but no. uh, but you know, but that's okay because you're right. It doesn't really involve anybody else. It only involves you, uh, and you're the only one who can be damaged by it. But when when maybe. some, well, maybe. But when somebody else is, um, is is connected to you in that way, you know, in, 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 a, in a real way, then where you are, what you're doing is important. Uh, and like Debbie said, it's the trust factor. Uh, mm -hmm. And and people will say, well, you you know me, you ought to trust me. Well, mm -hmm. I you know me, and you've I, known me for years. And why I, can't you trust that I, I'm, you know, going to be where I said I was going to be? Because we can't, you know what, and we're going to talk about this later. I don't, I, I don't want to jump the gun. I did read the thing. I did. Uh, we don't want to turn this into a policing thing because that's something different. Because if you're, because if it's a policing thing, then what you can't, then, then there will never be trust. Trust is, mm -hmm. is saying, you know, okay, I, you know, I believe you. If that's what you were, if that's what you were doing, okay. Um, but, you know. Putting air tags on people's cars and in their wallets and stuff, that's not trust. Um, um, breaking into their phones and 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 look at, and looking for evidence, looking for the things that you don't want to find. Yes. That's policing. And that will break trust on the other side. Uh, because because you, you can not trust somebody and be searching and doing things. And they may not even be doing anything wrong, but because you are investigating them, it makes them feel a certain way. The pol if, if, if the police are investigating you, they will find something. <laughs> if the popo is looking into your life, they will find something. If the IRS is looking into your life, they will find something. If the FBI, CIA are looking into your life, they will find something. Because that's what they want to do. They want to find something. So if you're looking in his phone or you're looking in her phone, you just and you are just on her computer. You're looking around for their, you know, their Instagram accounts and and seeing who and and seeing who who they're who they're friends with, uh, or who's friends with them or whatever. And you are looking for and you're looking for something negative. If you're looking for something negative, you're gonna find it because the negativity a lot of times is is you. So you're going you're going to find it, uh, and and but at the same at the same token, 
one has to be open to it too. You know, it's like, go ahead, want, go ahead. If it makes you feel better, there you go. But you know what? Most of the time, it don't make you feel better. Because if you have that in you, that mm -hmm. un, that not trusting people in you, it, 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 you're never going to feel better. You're going to always mm -hmm. doubt and not believe. And maybe, and, 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 and maybe you've been hurt before. Uh, maybe by that same person um, has broken your trust long years ago or before. Uh, or, or somebody else. Or maybe there's a history of that and you bring that to the new thing, which is which is detrimental uh, and becomes not their problem, but your problem, right? Um, so you wonder when they drive off, where they going? Why they, well, why you gotta go where now? Where you going? What you doing? <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever. It's a little bit of TikTok slipping back into our lives here. But anyway, um, but it's, oh. but it's, it's tough to move a relationship forward until you get some of this, some of these things settled. Uh, it's easy for me now. I do the very same thing every day, all day long, all week long. <laughs> we, at this age, I think we're pretty boring. I'm super boring. <laughs> super we both boring. are. Somebody asks, somebody always asks me, so what are your plans for the week? Let's see. I'm going to teach Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm going to work at Bush Gardens Friday and Saturday. There you go. I can tell you exactly time I'm going to be there. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the exact route I'm, I'm, I'm taking to get to these places. And there is my life. And church on Sunday. And church on Sunday. There you go. All done. <laughs> taking the same route to get there. <laughs> so, yeah. And... And, and and I and, and I, I understand that that, that there are um, there are those kinds of issues and 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 one of the things that we're that I'm going to dip into now is on that list is technology. Technology, um, <clears throat> technology opens up a world. You skipped a whole bunch. I skipped a whole bunch, but I know. But <laughs> but this is an important one. But yeah, but it's um it's this time, and you're going to have to yeah you have to you gotta have escape. To, you have to bug out in a little bit. Uh, but um, technology, because technology opened up an entire different existence for a lot of people. Uh, some people are living completely different lives online, because that's what you want to hear about, right? Um, because people are living entirely different existences online. Um, yeah, that show that we were watching, uh, 911, where this girl was on a TikTok thing and she was she was supposed to be a luxury influencer yeah and living in this glorious house she was showing it and all this stuff like go, that I had to come and work and she, she didn't own that house did she no she did not <laughs> <laughs> she because didn't own the house and she fell in the house and broke her head open and on the sauna mm -hmm. <laughs> and they that. had to come find her and her parents were like but that's not her name <laughs> it was it was a hot mess. So, so so there are people living totally different lives, and that's more true than you think. They are living totally different lives on the internet than what their tr true life is like. Yes, they are complete completely different. Um, catfishing is real. Mm -hmm. The cat you know, catfishing is completely real. People are are, are living completely different existences. Um, it's sort of like the Secret Life of Walter Mitty. If you haven't read that book or you haven't seen seen that movie, it's hysterical. It has Walter Matthau at the hold of it, um, where Walter Matthau is living this. It was back in the time. Yeah, it was, but it, but it, it it's a great picture of how some people live now. They they're living um, their best life inside their imaginations, because you can fool people. Mm -hmm. um, because and. The problem is that when you're living that kind of lifestyle, you have to, I mean, there's a, there's a crazy balance uh, you have to maintain to make sure that people in your real life don't find out. Um, and, when, and when they do find out, it's, it's, it's all, it's, it's, it's never good. It, it, it wasn't like you're living a, um, are you, uh, oh, you're fine. Uh, it isn't like you're um, living a secret life and you're a superhero and you're Batman. No, Batman or Superman. Or Spider-Man. You're like, oh, oh, so you're Peter Parker, you're, you're Spider-Man. Cool. No, it isn't. You're some you're some creep on the internet. You know, trolling ex hamster. That's who, that's who you are. And and so that makes it very that makes it very very difficult. 
because of the ease. Of, you, know, you know, it used to be a much more difficult. I mean, the internet used to be hard to do. It used to be hard to negotiate. Mm -hmm. But it's so easy now because we can carry it in our hands and, and hide, hide it we in our pockets. We have little computers in our pockets now. So it makes it easy to just, you know, you can go somewhere and pick up the camera and... Off you go. There you are. You're another person. You are somebody different. You're Celine. <laughs> Wasn't that what her name was? Yeah. <laughs> when you're just really Mary Jane that lives down the street. Yeah, you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're Marjorie lives across the street, and uh, you're not a luxury influencer. And this is not your house, and 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 I'll and, and I'll tell you, we see, and if I can hop off somewhere else, we see a lot of that with a lot of people who have stuff who are selling stuff on the internet. Um, they're standing out in front of like five different luxury cars. And they say that you know that you can you too can earn six figure you know six figures every month. Most of those, most of those cars are rented. All those houses are rented. None of that stuff is theirs. Um, in front of their jet. Not their jet. <laughs> it was some celebrity that was in front of a jet, and he was saying it was his. And and uh, um, somebody else said that's my jet. Because <laughs> <laughs> they showed the tail number and went uh uh. That's mine. <laughs> that, that, that's my car. That's yeah. my jet. So, but anyway, you can live this sort of double life, triple life, um, on the internet, and that, and and whenever that gets found out, of course, that breaks trust because nobody knows who, who you are, uh, and why do you had, and, and and I think the, the the problem is that why did you feel the need to do so? What so were being what was missing? What was missing that you felt the need that this is how you were going to live? You know. I have a life on the internet that's outside. That's not outside of my marriage, but it's it's extra in my marriage because I do because I've done podcasting and mm -hmm. and all that stuff since March two thousand eight. Yeah, I used to wow. record. I used to record the show every uh, every Saturday, and then try to play it for Debbie in the car on the way to dinner until she got bored with it. She didn't care. I don't want to do it. Anymore. She didn't care. I'm not bored with she it. She was bored How with do it. You know, I don't watch she it. She was. She to me. this was this was back in last night. She was bored with it. She didn't want to do it anymore. So I stopped recording it. I used to make a CD and put it in the car. We would listen. I would listen to me because I like to hear me. <laughs> well, for one thing, we don't have to do CDs anymore. That's very true. I still could, though. I know how. But um, so I have that existence where I, you know, I used to, used to, I used to travel uh, for my other thing. Every, you know, get on an airplane and go places every now and again. Uh, haven't done that in since, I don't know. About two years. Two, at least two years. Before yeah. Before the pandemic. Yeah. Last time I was. Where, where did I go last time? Uh, California. No. Uh, yeah, I went to California two years ago, and then we went to Kenosha um, the year before, right? So yeah. So so I have that lifestyle. That's, that's his double life. That's my other life. That's my Superman life. <laughs> Flying around. Uh, <laughs> but you know, it, it it is super important that. We stay true um, to our spouses in that sense, when, you know, and make and 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 to make sure if if you need if you indeed have that going on, um, then be straight up about at least be straight up about it. Uh, that's the only because that's the only way that you can come out of it really is to be straight up about it. You can't um, you, you can't man be pan be. You got to be straight up about it. Um, and then that's the only way that you can end it because it's going to be detrimental at some point. You're not going to be able to keep that balance going. You're just not going to be. It's too big because both lives take on their own thing after a while and become too big. And it's too difficult. And to then keep you fall. And it. then you fall down in in a sauna that isn't yours and bust your head open. And 911 has to be called. And then everybody knows. And everybody in the world knows that you're fake. You're funny. So it's tough. It really is. Money. Money, 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 money. Being accountable of money. with money. Um, a lot of marriages break up because of Some money situation. And um and be careful, mm -hmm. copyright. Not the way I say. <laughs> like I couldn't tell what the hell he was saying. <laughs> he was singing so badly, I don't even know what it like he was going, honey, 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 honey. <laughs> But me, um, but, but know, that was a, a, a problem we had earlier in our marriage was being accountable with our, our funds, and I think we worked out a solution with how we do that now, and but uh, 
and I mainly manage the money situation. Of course, you would because I'm in financial stuff. You know, you would think, oh, that's automatically done. But I haven't always been <laughs> very good with it. But it's taken some years for me to get the heck, the you know, get get it down pat with you know paying the keeping up with the bills and doing all the, you know, being a, accountable so that your family isn't in the dark. So you don't have to go home and go, oh, there's a pink tag on the electric meter again. Yeah, well, no water, no water in the house. Or the water is turned off. You know, it's those kind of things that that, that continue to be si serious stressors. Um, that can put a lot of pressure on a marriage and uh, and makes one or the other want to go, I'm, I'm done with this. You know, I can't do that. Also, money-wise, as far as saving and, and, and planning for the future and being able to purchase a home and, and, and cars and, and, you know, just being things that you need in life. We need a sofa. We need a, a refrigerator. We need this. You know, you got to save and plan and prepare. And if one is spending the money on, you know, Amazon all the time, Or that's now. Back in the day when we were dealing with struggling with things, there was no Amazon. Fortunately, there was no Amazon. Well, Amazon but, was only selling books. Yeah, they were selling books then. Yeah, Jeff Bezos was selling books out of his garage at, at, at that point. <laughs> but um, yeah, back to the things. If if one if somebody doesn't step up and take control of things, it's total chaos, and then you end up living on just Social Security when you're retired. You know, you gotta have a, a backup. You gotta have savings. You gotta have, you, you gotta be good with the money, or that can help cause your marriage to fail. Yeah, um, one of the, you, you know, it, it, and it's funny. People think that infidelity is the major cause of divorce. It is not. Mm -hmm. People, people come back from it. People come back from infidelity. They can get over that. And sometimes they come back stronger than they were before. But when uh, somebody is spending all your but, money, but at it's the, the money casino, and, the, and the lack of security, um, people people don't come. People actually don't come from that. That that is that is a major cause of of divorce. It's it, it's financial because it has to do with a security issue um, that leads to a, tr a trust issue that leads to a security issue. Um, and so, most women in a relationship want to feel secure. That's a main thing for women. You know, uh, you would think it would be hard to get over a, a relationship, you know, a sexual outside of the marriage thing. And it is. And it is, but that's not the highest thing. That's not the worst The money, thing. when you don't feel secure that you're going to have, good grief, you're going to have a, a, a home to a, come to. A murder of crows just, was just landed in the yard. <laughs> you don't feel like you're going to have a home to come home to. Or you can't afford to, to go and buy groceries when you need them or, you know, just simple putting clothes on your children. Uh, if you don't feel secure about that, then. And that is ma that is a major cause. And, you know, it's funny. It doesn't matter the, the people's income level. Mm -mm. You know, a lot of people who are very well off have the very same situation. Uh, and went for the very same reason. You can have a lot of money, but if you can't manage it, um, where's the money? Um, why did they repo the car? Uh, we live in. Forgot this to pay the money's in the account. Forgot to pay. And that is that. And that was the most frustrating thing when I had the damn money and just forgot to pay the, the freaking electric bill. That was the worst. It's like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. Um, just because you weren't thinking that way and. I know, again, moving from um, a single status, that kind of stuff only affected you. Mm -hmm. um, what you did with your time or, and or what you did with your money uh, only affected you. Um, but the second that it started affect affecting other people, then it became something that you had to be certainly accountable for at some level. So it's very important before you even get into a marriage to figure out Who's going to handle the finances? Who's, who's good at it? Who's good at this? 
because we made the mistake of not doing that. We just, you just get in there and well, I'll pay this, I'll, you pay that, I will mean, do this, nah, 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 nah. but you gotta, you gotta figure that out. Yeah, yeah, you, you actually do, and 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 that, and, and that'll be, and so, so, it, so that isn't such a stressor uh, on 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 what what, what isn't one of the normal stressors of life. Uh, if you can reduce the amount of stressors, that'll be that'll be a much better situation for you for sure. Uh, and of course, being being open and a lot of people don't. I think a lot of people have, have lived their lives. Uh, I guess men more. I don't know men more than women. I guess uh, it ain't nobody business how much money I make. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yes. Um, so they like. So they like to keep those things, you know, close to the vest. The older men did, back in the day did that. That's my 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 grandfather used to always say, uh, "Mind your business. That ain't none of your business." Ain't none of your business. But. How much money you made today? None of your business. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to, if I wanted, to, wanted you to know, I'd have told you. I'd have told you. I'd have told you. <laughs> but um, nowadays, you know, people are more open about different things like that. Sometimes people just want you to know for status reasons and all of that. But um, and most of those people are lying. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> most of those people live on credit cards. <laughs> That's the truth, more so most, than anything. Most of the people living on credit card, uh, but there is, and there's also, and and, and 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 I will be remiss if I didn't say there's also um, for a lot of men, there is an for lack of a better term, there's an embarrassment factor um, because you feel that you ought to be making more, you ought to be doing more, and you may be in a situation because of age or education or whatever. Or you know, the excess of age, or the lack of education, um, that you may you you may be topped out. You can't. I mean, you can't work fourteen jobs a day. Uh, but you know, and, and and you may be topped out. You may have a couple or three jobs a day, and it may not and it might not be enough to do all of it, especially now, especially you know in the past you know a couple of years. Everyone has seen everything just top out. I mean, you got a little. I mean, you got a little car, and it costs what used to cost fifteen dollars to fill it up, and now it costs forty. You're like, what yeah. the hell? Things are <laughs> what are, the hell? Crazy right now. You know, and your and your wages haven't gone up, and so there's an embarrassment factor to that too, where you're thinking, I should be doing, I should be doing better. And then when you're, and when you have to basically put it on the line that you're not, uh, nobody likes to fail. I think nobody. that nobody likes to fail. And sometimes, you know, what in you know what in these relationships, uh, marriage relationships, other relationships, men have men because they're men have a tendency to fail not just once, but when you fail every day, that becomes tough. You know, I you know I used to teach and I used to teach kids who struggled, and they didn't fail a class a year. They failed every day they went to that class. So when you wake up in the morning and you know that you, you don't know have you're enough, not gonna be. you're failing. You're failing. It's tough. It's really hard. And thus, people become less accountable because, you know what, you you want to hide that. You don't want to, I mean, throw that on the kitchen table every night. Oh, didn't. And, and that's a mistake that men make when they don't tell their spouse where they are and what's going on, you know, and God gave you a, a wife for a reason. Sometimes that wife can help you. Sometimes she can tell you, well, maybe you can do this, maybe you can do that. You know, don't hide it. That's where the accountability comes in. When you're accountable to your spouse and you tell them, well, I'm struggling with this. Can can you come up with some ideas and help me? What What, you know, what do you think? Although that's 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 very good, but that's not the nature of dudes. I know. That is not our nature. I, I understand. That, that is not our nature. Our nature is I gotta find a way to make this happen. I gotta find a way to work, make this work. I have to find a way to make this work. That's our nature. And then we take all that and we put it on this and we swallow all the bitterness and all the anger. We just swallow it and swallow it. 
and that's why men die before their wives. Normally, <laughs> normally, because because we've got all this all this failure and frustration that we've swallowed. Because we're because you know, uh, culture says you're supposed to be the provider. You're supposed to be the breadwinner. You're supposed to be this. And I, you know what? And I know that that y'all think that that's changed, and that might have changed in society, but it hasn't changed in the human beings yet. Human beings are coming. Are, are, are behind I'm the culture, evolving. are behind the culture. The culture says that that, that that's that kind of thing anymore, but I know damn well it is. Yeah, I know, I know it's time to go. Going. All right, listen, uh, we're going to continue. This is getting very juicy. That's why we want to do a series on this. We'll continue this conversation because it's, it's important and it's juicy and it's helpful. And if you can I comment, wish that somebody, do. I wish that somebody would have told me these things before I got married, before you get, get deep into it, you know, uh, we grew up in an era where pe people, your parents didn't talk about stuff like this. Now they figure you figure it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and you do. And you do, but it's hard. It could be a lot easier if somebody would have given you some heads up. Mm -hmm. All right, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sake, take care of each other. And remember, remember, and never forget, we love you, and, and there's, there's nothing, nothing you can, can do, do about it. it. We'll see you when we see you. Peace.